What's up people, my name's Sean Reynolds, welcome back to the Ditto Music Channel. Today we're talking about blogs and how to get yourself in a good position so that blogs will actually want to share your music. As well as this, we'll be discussing some websites where you can submit your music to multiple outlets quickly and efficiently. Roll the titles. But first things first, if you want to release unlimited music every single year to places like Spotify, Apple Music, Instagram, TikTok, Ditto Music is the place for you. There is also a 30 day free trial so you can try it before you buy it. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box below so you can check it out. Anyway, on with the video. All right, so blogs. Why would you want to be featured on blogs in the first place? Firstly, it's great exposure for your music to help people find it. Secondly, it's great exposure for yourself as an artist in general. And thirdly, it gives you interesting content to post about around release date. And also, I'm not sure how many people are actually aware of this, but having blog posts and articles written about you can increase your chances of getting your social accounts verified. So if you fancy bagging yourself one of those blue ticks of success, then approaching music blogs might be the way to go. Now, before we talk about creating a good submission to get your music placed on these music blogs, how about we actually talk about where you can send your music? And as I'm sure you're probably aware, there are hundreds if not thousands of places and outlets that you can send your music to to get it heard. Luckily though, Ditto has your back and we've created a list of music blogs that want your music in 2023, so I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. One thing to remember though when creating your list of places that you want to submit your music to is make sure you check the criteria on each of these places' website. Nine times out of ten, they're not going to accept just any kind of music. They'll be looking for certain genres, certain styles, whether it's an EP, album or single release. And some places will only work with projects that haven't been released yet and vice versa. Just make sure you read each website carefully before submitting anything because you don't want to fail before you've even got started. But let's quickly pause there. Before we submit anything to these blogs, we need to make sure that we're set up and ready to do so. For example, make sure you've sorted your artwork and you've got a high resolution copy of it. Also make sure you've got some great press shots to accompany your submission. Again, we want high res copies. And although it isn't vital, making sure you have video content such as a music video or live performance can really help your chances. The reason I'm suggesting that you collect all of this media ahead of time is so that one, it's just easier, and two, I've been in a position before where a blog has said they want to promote a single, but they've asked for a bio, press shots, and all this stuff that I didn't have, so I had to rush around trying to find all this stuff ASAP. So knowing exactly where it is and having it to hand is going to put you in a really great position. All right, so let's say you've made your list, you know exactly who and where you're going to be sending your music to. Now comes the important bit. Make a good first impression. Unfortunately, in this day and age, having good music is only half the battle. You still need to present it in a way that's gonna catch the eyes and ears of people that receive tens of hundreds of these submissions every day. So you need to do everything you can on your end to make sure that when they get to your email, they open it up and the first thing they wanna do is listen to your song. And here's some ways you can improve your chances. Firstly, and this may seem a bit silly, but make sure you're sending your music to the right email. While many of these blogs will have a dedicated submission form on their website, some will just have a list of emails. Make sure you find the right one for music submissions and send it to that email address. Make it as easy as possible to figure you and your music out. So get to the point quickly, be concise. The last thing these people wanna do is read through paragraphs and paragraphs about your history. Save that for another area. Straight up, just tell them what you're doing. If you're releasing a single, music video, album, EP, anything like that, just get to the point. However, you probably only have a few sentences worth of attention span before people lose interest. So take your time over these sentences and make sure they're presenting your music in the best possible way. Now in my experience a lot of these places don't like you to attach mp3s to your emails because their inboxes just get too full. So instead use services like Disco and Soundcloud to host your unreleased tracks and share the link to that instead. One thing I like about Disco is you can create customized pages for your release to make them stand out even more when they're clicked. Because remember, and I'm gonna really drive this home today, first impressions are everything. If your track is already released, however, then you can use your Ditto Smart Link, which puts all of your streaming service links in one convenient place. Next thing you want to do is make sure you've attached a link to an EPK or electronic press kit. An EPK probably contains everything that you thought you were going to put in the body of your email. We're talking a biography, any relevant career highlights, press shots, artwork, links to your music, links to your socials should all be included in your EPK. Now, Ditto actually have an article all about how to create a great EPK, which I'll leave a link to in the description box below as well. If you're confused about how to actually create your EPK, there are some services online that you can use to help build one. A few of my favourites are Banzoogle, Reverb Nation and Prowly, but others are available. And lastly, make sure in all aspects of your submission that you double check your spelling and your grammar. Remember, sorry to bore you, 
we're looking for a great first impression here. Now, sending out all of these submissions can get quite time consuming, and unfortunately, under no circumstances should you send out a bulk email to multiple recipients. That is just a surefire way to burn all these bridges before you've even started to build them. Reason being is, well, you just come across spammy. Because first impressions matter. I'm sorry, that's the last time I'll say it. I promise. So because these submissions take so much time and energy, there are some websites you can use to send to multiple outlets all at once. You basically upload your song, input all the metadata, and then handpick anyone that you think might want to promote your track for you. Some options for websites that offer this kind of service are SubmitHub, MusoSoup, Groover, and Human Human. Now the way you use these websites is they usually run on a token-based system, which means you can buy an amount of tokens, and then you can spend those tokens on different levels of promotional outlets. For example, a blog that has a massive following and a large potential impact for your music could charge you 10 tokens, whereas a smaller blog that's just started out that has a smaller impact could be two tokens. But the larger, more impactful blog will be receiving a much higher amount of submissions, so it might be more beneficial to your campaign to reach out to five smaller blogs rather than that one big one. However, similar to what we've just discussed by doing all the submissions yourself, you need to make sure that your song fits the criteria of the outlet that you're submitting to. Luckily, most of these kind of websites allow you to tailor the search so that at the very least, the outlet that you're submitting to will match your genre and style. You can also usually narrow the search even further by selecting certain moods and also comparing to similar artists. Now it's worth bearing in mind that these places don't just send your music to blogs. You can also use these sites for playlist pitching and social media coverage. And on some you can even say that you're looking for a label or management. But whether you go down the route of doing all these submissions yourself or using one of these one-stop shop websites and submitting to multiple people all at once, they both have one thing in common. They take a long time from when you submit to when it actually gets featured on the website. So you need to plan accordingly. We're talking four to six weeks before the release date if you're doing a pre-release campaign. If the song's already out, then, then it doesn't matter. But four to six weeks is a great amount of time to submit to blogs and get a feature that drops at the same time that your project comes out. Now, if you're sat there thinking, wow, four to six weeks before release date, there's all these things I need to get prepared, everything seems quite overwhelming, don't worry. Ditto has you covered again with their independent artist's handbook. This is a 34 page document dedicated to how you can get your music heard in 2023. And because it goes into detail about pre-release strategy as well as post-release strategy, I think this is an invaluable resource for any independent an artist. So I'll also leave a link to that in the description box below. Give it a read and you can start building your 2023 release campaign like a pro. So you've put the work in creating something that you're proud of and that you love. Now it's time to get it out there into the world and the only way to do that is to send it out there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the thumbs up button below and also consider subscribing to see more content like this. My name's Sean Reynolds. I'll see you again soon for another video. Peace.